Hi chums, we're, we're back inside the greenhouse this time and uh, going to get a look around here. Uh, it looks pretty luxuriant. Um, I'll do a quick scan around, everything looks pretty good, but it's not as good as it looks. These are Eric's Brandywine, Brandywine Yellows and Brandywine Roma and something else. I had two Romas over here. These two are Romas, two brandy wines. Now, look what we're doing. We're getting big flowers. Look at the size of these flowers. It looks fantastic. I've never seen tomato flowers that size in my life. Look at this one here. Oh, look, look, look. A tomato. We're getting a, tom we're getting a tomato. Well, that's good. So things are happening. I'm going to stop those ones growing. They're not very tall, as you can see. They're only about three feet tall. But I'm going to stop them because I want to get tomatoes. I don't want to get growth. I want to try and get some tomatoes. There's Gary's. Um, Japanese pepper that I kept inside over winter and it's actually putting little flowers out and lots of them so I'm going to get peppers in that this year this is one called this is one we like here Luciola it's a plum tomato and as you can see it's putting out big long trusses and they've got tomatoes on them one of the, I was talking to a friend the, the other day and uh, he was saying that he didn't notice many insects in his garden and I'm, I'm in the same boat I find very few insects this year at all. And then over here we've got the Gardener's Delights. Now the Gardener's Delights are they're putting out nice trusses but they aren't getting fertilised or the, the, the insects. There are very few, as I said, very few insects and very few bees this year. There's Eric, um, that's a Hungarian hot wax and as we can see, little peppers on it. And that's a KN and that's been pruned the way Ray does his. Um, I'm a bit breathless folks, sorry about that there. I'm breathing very shallow because I broke some ribs yesterday, it's a bit of a mishap. So I'm, I'm breathing a bit shallow today, so please forgive all the puffing and panting. Um, up here, we've got tumblers, tomato called tumbler, but look, they're, they're growing tomatoes, but they're all starting to die back. You see here, you've got these dead leaves up at the top there. Look, hanging over the side. I have no idea why, because those are, those, are, those are plenty of water. They haven't been overwatered, but they've been kept watered. These are, these are leaks here um, at the back. They have to go out when I get the other beds sorted out. I've got some courgettes and squashes coming on inside. I should really be getting those um, out, and, out, out now, but just to, the weather's so bad, there's no point putting them out. They're just gonna get, they're just going to get soaked. And uh, we've got cucumbers, Eric's cucumbers, now those are doing well. Um, this was lemon cucumber, and it's putting loads and loads of flowers out. I don't see any little cucumbers yet, but maybe they'll come yet. But over here in Emile, there are lots of little cucumbers. Oh, look at that down there. Lots of little cucumbers on the Emile. So that's good. So that's, those are Eric's. I'm loving the fact that Eric's stuff is growing. These are gourds that should have been out. And those are just some lettuces that I put lettuces into into pots and just let them grow away and don't bother transplanting or anything. And at the rate myself and my wife use them, excuse me, we don't need to worry too much about um, about production because we, we don't use a whole lot of it. Oh, sorry, there's only two of us here, so we don't need, don't need a whole lot, you know. So there's where we are, folks. What I'm having to do here to uh, back up the tumblers again. Tomatoes on them, but they're, they're, they're dying back, look. I can't understand this at all. It certainly isn't a result of heat, that's for sure. So I don't know what's going on here with, those, with that, that crack there, and they're all doing the same thing. Look at this one here. There's one there, it's completely dead. From the top down, just that one there, it's just completely dried out. I don't know what's going on here. So maybe someone could help me with that. But as I say, it all looks, it all looks pretty luxuriant. But there's not a lot happening. This really isn't much to talk about, so that's why I'm not making this very long. Um, I'm just looking the little, the little, uh, what do you call it? The nice part of this is the what do you call these marigolds? I put these marigolds in just to attract insects and to keep the, the tomato flies away. But they're actually becoming the main event inside here. There's a nice, nice little flower, isn't it? That's a, a, a different one. I don't know what you call that one, but it's this jolly, jolly jester you call that one. It's a big tall one. It's about three feet high, that one. And uh, 
You must say the marigolds, the marigolds are putting on the best show of all. There's a nice one in the back there. So there you go. There's another nice one there. That's that one's called Boy Oh Boy, and I, I don't I don't know what that one's called there. I can't remember. If I went outside and looked. I could tell you, but I, um, I can't be bothered to tell you the truth. I've kind of lost not lost interest in the garden this year, but I'm, I'm finding it hard to be enthusiastic. I'm down doing my work and all the rest of it, but uh, it's it's hard, you know. But there you go, so that's it. Um, just one other wee thing. Uh, Ronan, a, a, a cousin of mine, Ronan, is going through the old chemotherapy business at the moment and he's losing his hair. And he got even worse news recently when his mother said that he looks like me when his hair is short. Well, he's got a number three, Ronan. That's a number, there's what a number two he looks like. But it's not all bad news because when I told Rosemary that Lily said that you look like me, Rosemary said, well, sure, he can't get any better looking than that, can he? So, at least you've got one supporter. <laughs> All right, Ronan, um, keep at it, mate. We're all behind you. So that's it, folks. All the best now. Bye-bye.